Well, good evening. And here's the news. <laughs> um, right, noisy bloke next door is running his engine for no reason at all. So, I hope you can hear this. Anyway, um, right, I'm struggling. Well, I'm not struggling with this one because actually it's in perfect keeping with this channel. It's not about me. It's not about my local council. It's not even about my mate with the burger van. Um, some of you will have heard on the news today, I'd, I'd just like to see how many lies they're telling, basically. <laughs> Honestly, I know a lot of people don't listen to the news, and to be quite honest, I don't blame you. Some of you will have heard on the news today that a 14-year-old boy took a naked picture of himself, um, doesn't go into detail as to how naked, but I'm sure you can imagine, Um and sent it to a girl he knows at school. Um, <laughs> now, they went into great detail about how this was done on an app that apparently deletes the picture after 10 seconds or something. But the girl had managed to save it to her phone in that time. Um, I did not know such a thing existed, I must confess. Anyway, um, I think that's a distraction ploy, really, because here... <laughs> Here's the lowdown. This boy has now been placed on a, a police intelligence file, probably for the rest of his life, um, despite the fact that, one, he's a minor, and even if files don't completely disappear, when you reach the age, I think it's 17 or 18, they are supposed to be buried in the basement. So he's going to be on this file for the rest of his life. I mean... I hesitate to use the word intelligence in police intelligence file, but that, that is what they call it. So, um, it could affect his future employment, uh, which as far as I could gather from the news article, um, involved possible uh, criminal record uh, checks, CRB. Um, so technically, depending what job he wants to go into when he reaches the mature old age of 16 and chooses his subjects, that he wants to study, um, to specialise in, he may be forever unemployed, if that's his chosen profession that requires a, a CRB check. So uh, this is amazing, because what happened was a girl got the picture and she shared it around the school, shared it around, well, by her classmates, presumably, I don't, I don't know who, how many. Um, but no one, no one's actually on record as taking offence. Um, you know, there's no teachers said anything as, as far as was reported or any of the other pupils. Um, and the reason all this has happened is because a policeman found out. That was what I heard on the radio. A policeman found out. So having committed no criminal offence and having... I mean, I, I think they, they wanted to, to have him under uh, uh, offensive communications or something ridiculous. Um, but basically, having committed no offence, and having offended no one, and he's not to be charged with any offence, he's now on a Nazi watch list for the rest of his life. <laughs> and this is, is, you know, I've gone over this so many times, now this is about me and my mate with the burger van at the council. <laughs> I've gone over this so many times on the channel, um, you've, you've got Councils issuing court summons, which is completely illegal because councils can't issue court summons. Only courts can. You've got courts issuing warrants, which don't actually have an offence on them. You've got the police taking people to court when they have no case. Um, and the case duly collapses completely because there's no evidence. I mean, what kind of waste of taxpayers' money is, is going on here, you know, with these people? It's it's quite incredible. Then then you've got them chasing me in a completely malicious prosecution where they've just blatantly lied about everything. Um, apparently the CPS had a half a file of evidence because they they had decided to drop the case. Well, the, the CPS wouldn't have the evidence unless the file was completed because that's what the CPS do. Um, and you, you've got council officers lying basically about you know, well, I've proved one's a liar, so anything else I say is probably a lie as well. 
But this is what's going on now in this country. You, people are being sent to jail for committing no crime. Because the courts are bent, the police are bent, the councils are bent. And this, uh, you know, has made national news about this boy. And it, it only goes to show exactly what goes on. And they've got him under watch, if you like. He might as well have a tag on his ankle, probably for the rest of his life, for committing no crime. And this is what's happening, guys. The police, you know, they don't want contact with the public. They want people like the councils and so on to 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 um, enforce all these laws, which half of which don't exist, and the other half they're making up. Um, but this is what's going on: that they are arresting people and they're jailing people for committing no crime. You know, and okay, this boy's not going to go to prison, but he might as well have been arrested, really, because he's he's going to be watched now for you know all his behaviour, what he does. Which, can you imagine, growing up, seriously, into your sort of teenage years and all that, all he has to do is go off the rails once, and that's it, they'll have him in prison. And the reason they were watching him is because he committed no crime. I... This is... <sighs> you know, I'd love to laugh, but it's just not funny anymore. We are being governed by a Nazi dictatorship. Make no mistake about this. Make absolutely no mistake. And I'll tell you what, anyone watching this, maybe your name will be on the list one day. Or maybe you'll have a similar experience to what I've had with the local council. And there's, there's a lot of guys out there, Facebook, Twitter and all that, who, who, you know, we all rally around each other. We all sort of comment on each other's posts. We all do retweets and stuff like this. Because that bunch of people has been affected already and it's just it's spreading it's getting worse and it's got to be stopped it's got to be stopped you cannot have people under suspicion for committing no crime again when the police organize these big drink drive tests you know and they start pulling people over into a lay-by 10 15 cars illegal they cannot pull you over unless you have like a broken brake light or they, you know, they say it's dangerous driving or something like that. They cannot pull you over just for driving down the street on your way to work. You're doing nothing wrong. And they pull you over and give you over. That's illegal. Illegal. I don't give a fuck about the safety arguments of driving over the limit and all this. If the police want to be respected, they need to enforce the law to the letter of the law. But these, these things, pulling people over for drink driving randomly, that's just bullying. That's just intimidation. You know... And it, it all shows in this case with this boy. A policeman found out. Well, sorry, but no crime has been reported. No crime has probably been committed, even. <sighs> bloody hell, the, the police had jumped as fast as the council case, so bloody had half the establishment in jail by now. <laughs> that was actually reported. <laughs> oh... It is quite good. Start looking around you, people, and start watching your backs. Start looking behind you when you walk, because this this is just getting utterly ridiculous now. I anyway, I went and slept. If I hadn't got that up tonight, <laughs> right? I shall try and upload it. I'm having data problems, but uh, my phone seems to be doing a sterling job tonight. So we'll, we'll see how we go. Anyway, I shall see you next time.